And Velasco was also um, struggling for playing time also in uh, talking sets and maybe this move uh, will give him a little more time on the floor. That was uh, the PNC team really loaded and they're even more loaded now. Meantime, Miller, first appearance here today. Shot clock at five, somebody yelling loudly. Mahirap, hirap si Willie pag in three seconds remaining sa shot clock. May buelo eh. 22-11, to go. That will not work. Nobody getting a kick out of Villanueva's air ball. A second air ball already for uh, Barangay Ginebra. We saw Rudy Hatfield go, his jump shot go three feet out of uh, the possible five that was needed. And same thing with uh, Enrico Villanueva. And the problem is those two, those two shots happen because uh, Barangay Ginebra <laughs> under duress in terms of the shot clock. Velasco trying his luck from three-point distance, no connection. Below the two-minute mark of this first quarter, that's really zipping by us. Miller peeks inside and hold it. There's a foul. Is it there one? Yes, could be on Velasco here. We have to give uh, Woody Wilson a medal of valor. <laughs> he's about 6'1", and he's posting up Nick Velasco. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you just know you're, you, 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 have, uh, you have confidence in your strength, even though he's giving up about 5 inches to Nick Velasco. And there's a traffic jam inside. Miller picks it up. No problem with the side jumper. And it's an 11-point gap here, which is enjoyed by Barangay Ginebra. Marlo Aquino trying to brush aside the defensive hands of Villanueva. Velasco tries a new. This hit only one of his three attempts so far. Here's Miller. Wilson. Cross court, Celino Cruz, by the way, entered the ball game just moments ago. Ambrose. Yeah, Ambrose. It's considered a break, and he has a smile on his face. Uh, he will smile because he's just shooting 22% from the three point line. That's his sixth three pointer out of his 23 attempts. Pass intended for Marlon, nearly going outside. Kept alive, seven seconds on the shot clock, foul prior to the attempt. They give it to Wilson, his first foul. Menor or Bistondo, Marlo Aquino, Velasco and Johnson, the unit for the realtors. Hard drive to the basket and Wilson may have been a little with Wilson. Or billion it is Wilson. Second on him, third on the team. Although Willie really Wilson may not be give, might, may not be giving much, or is not much, he has about the same strength as uh, Rudy Hatfield. He gives up. Uh, he's a little shorter than him, about a good two, three inches. And you can see on the other side, Anthony Johnson. Mas kumpiansa sa atakayin si Willie Wilson compared to Rudy Hatfield. Wilson is that kind of player who plays larger than his size, you know? Much yeah. larger than Much his size. larger than his size. He, he, he was a, what was he? Started out as a off guard, but now he's uh -huh. a power forward in yes. the PBA. So you can play post step. Let's try you inside, <laughs> they said. Enrico escapes and gets it to go through. And never with a 14 point lead. The Santa Lucia got to be aware that Ginebra can give up fouls. They have to attack early so that Ginebra will be forced to give up the foul. Now see right there, that's a poor foul on the part of Enrico Villanueva. Just because you have a foul to give, you don't have to give it up that early. Anthony Johnson was not about to attack the basket yet. When he starts attacking, that's the only time you foul and that's the only time that he becomes a threat. Young Chico. Coaching hard. I think a uh, good point about uh, consistency raised by Patricia earlier. Something uh, everybody hopes for. Selena Cruz giving up that foul. See the big difference there between the foul of Selena and uh, 
and uh, Rico Villanueva. Celino noticed that uh, Josh Urbistondo had his head down and was going to try to score already. Urbistondo is called by Kinito. Firebrand and uh, he's a fireball actually as well. And we're done with one quarter, but Santa Lucia snail pace as far as their production is concerned. They're behind 27-13. Second quarter is just around the corner. Because of the changes that Santa Lucia went through recently and having only two days to practice, of course things didn't seem to go their way in their first quarter. And I was just wondering, coach, what do you think were the big problems there? Uh, basically, we start bad in the first quarter. Defensively, medyo malaki problema namin. That's why Coach Boyet get mad. Kaya sinabihan lahat yung mga players niya. Now, is it really part of the plan, Coach Adonis, na gagamitin lahat ng mga bagong players niya ngayon? Are we going to be seeing Pong and Yusef also? No, sure. bali yan ang napag-usapan namin kahapon for the past two days na lahat ng bago namin kailangan magamit para maka-recover ang ganda sa sistema ng team. Alright, salamat, Seth. Jason? Thank you very much for uh, that, that insightful discussion with Adonis Terra as we welcome you to the second quarter and Miller, holiday on ice. Skidding there. And first quarter numbers being flashed on your screens. A good, a good shooting uh, clip on the part of uh, Barangay Hinebra, 52%. And that's, uh, that's why masama nga yung sinabi na depensa ng uh, Santa Lucia. And on the other side, for Santa Lucia, they only shot 32%. The trend reversing, and the, you were beginning to discuss that first time they met, where Hinebra really broke oh, that's towards interesting. Uh, shooting touch. It's interesting, they're going to call this an offensive foul on Anthony Johnson. Well, you look at this move, Ronald Subic, all right there, he gets out of the restricted area. A good call actually on the part of the official, and good job on the part of Ronald Subic to, to give up his body for that offensive uh, foul. Miller brushes aside the defense and found the wide open and Rico Villanueva underneath. That interior seems to be the problem for uh, Santa Lucia. They've been uh, unable to plug that area. The interior defense. Uh, before, they had a big guy in Kelly Williams that yes. had agility. Now most of the guys that brought in, they brought in, are, do not have that uh, ability to recover quickly in terms of uh, when the uh, when there are mismatches down low. That's a huge adjustment they have to make as Hatfield a little too close for comfort against Johnson there. Leah, what do you have? All right, Sir Sev. Now, I can call you Sir Sev. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, earlier I talked about how Coach Jong Chico was very much concerned with the teamwork and chemistry problems that the Jins have been having. Mark Kibo also shared him before the game about how strongly he feels about this topic. He said they had a team meeting recently and he said he was very vocal about the lack of teamwork. He says there's so much talent, but kanya kanya lang talaga. All the lineup changes, obviously, one of the reasons about this for this problem, but that's only a part of it. They have no ball movement. And yes, they have been getting the wins, but Mark is not happy at all. He said he rather lose gracefully as a team than start scraping by in wins in such a strained atmosphere against teams that are considered less talented. Sir Seb, Sir Seb bala. Baksa ka F ka today, uh, student Leah. Hindi ba? Di ba talaga ito pa nag-examen na sa abroad? Ang haba ng sakay sa ruplano, tagal mo yung umugay. Pag-usapan natin yan mamaya pa. We'll take a break. And you are back with us here at the Big Dome. This is our schedule come Wednesday. Look at that second game. Oh, that's a big game. Coca-Cola hoping to arrest uh, also its own slide in the last couple of games. Be like Derby Ace that won last night against their 21. And let's go with Menor, Urbistondo, Velasco. Aquino and Anthony Johnson. Hatfield is all over the import of Santa Lucia. Johnson, look at Hatfield put a hand on the ball. Here's Miller on a foot race. Outside, Selena thought about it. And Tubid apologizes. My fault, mea culpa. Nagpakita, show. Can't blame Celino also. Yeah, good intention on the part of Celino Cruz. Had an open look, but he noticed. Wala nang depend na nakadepend sa oh, idalis sa Santa Lucia. Yun ang malaking butas sa 
Depensa, Milton Realtor. In the meantime, that shot does not work. You just have to admire the 